pre-recorded breaking news michael israel here with real tv today is december 22nd 1 11 a.m eastern standard time usa we're going to be really quick on this show today and what i want to talk about is government shutdown breaking news as we know recently there has been a dispute between the Democrats and Republicans over billion, building this $5 billion wall for Trump's plan. However, the news that we have today is that there will indeed be a partial government shutdown. Now, before this... The complaint was that if Trump doesn't get his wall built, then uh, there will be a government shutdown. There was actually a vote with the Senate of about, I want to say it was maybe uh, about 200 some, odd, 200 some odd votes for the Republican Party versus the about like 180, 175 for the Democrats. So, um, yeah, that, that's that. And, uh, the thing about it is, is that, again, we just have to be prepared because when these things happen, as we can see, it starts on the weekend. Today is Saturday. In most cases, when this seriousness of a shutdown or any type of bank collapse or the Dow collapse, it will most likely be on a weekend. Reading here from an article, what happens in a partial government shutdown? As President Donald Trump and Congress bicker over Trump's call for $5 billion to build a border wall with Mexico, Government agencies are preparing for a partial government shutdown set to begin at midnight on Friday. The dispute could affect nine of 15 cabinet level departments and dozens, dozens of agencies, including the Departments of Homeland Security, Transportation, Interior, Agriculture, State and Justice, as well as National Parks and Forests. More than 800,000 federal employees could see their jobs disrupted, including more than half who would be forced to continue working without pay. U.S. Postal Service, busy delivering packages for the holiday season, wouldn't be affected by any government shutdown because it's an independent agency. So it's a good thing the United States Post Office actually became an independent agency a few years back. Um, and all this is planned. So again, when such a crisis, which they all plan for, these are the reasons why the princes and the billionaires and the presidents of the world and those who are of the highest part of the umbrella under Satan go to these Bohemian Grove meetings and underground dumbs facilities attached to military bases in the United States. They go to these meetings and they discuss in advance of ways to create chaos in 20 to 30 different ways or 20 to 50 different outcomes of different things that it will affect. So with this shutdown beginning at midnight, basically now, it started on a weekend. So what are the possible side effects of this or the possible future signs? Some of the things that could possibly happen is banks shutting down. No access to money. I would suggest that 
if you have any major bills right now, to just hold out just for a moment. I would just hold, I would personally hold out just for a moment and see what's shaking. Because the first eight to, I want to say about 24 hours, the first eight to first 24 hours is very crucial when it comes to a crisis, something like this. Because what happens is there's going to be roadblocks eventually, um, imports and exports, depending on how long this will last, will stop coming in. So getting food will be one of the most important things that you would need to get. I'm not talking about, don't be like everyone else in the neighborhood and, and get raw food get fresh meat and vegetables and things, fruits and vegetables and things like that, which is good. But for the majority, that's not something that's going to last long. That'll last two or three days, if that. You need something that's going to last, like protein shakes, some dehydrated fruits and vegetables, maybe some rice, maybe some grits, you know, some type of dry goods, you know. You're going to need things that you crave, things that your body may need, like sugar, believe it or not. You may not be a Pop-Tart fan, but if the system was down for a while, you will crave some sweets. You know what I mean? Um, let's read another article here. Um, Trump warns that looming shutdown will last for a very long time if Democrats resist funding border wall. This is coming from the Los Angeles Times. President Trump on Friday threatened a partial government shutdown would last for a very long time if Congress does not meet his demand for billions in funding for this long promise border wall and a stopgap spinning measure. Okay. Um, th this is just amazing. This article is very extensive here. I'm not going to read into its entirety. But we get the gist of what's going on here. Again... There's no telling how long this could last, but what can it affect? As mentioned, transportation, as far as going to the airports, Homeland Security, TSA will no longer be there. So getting in and out of the airports um, or getting to the airports, that matter, that could cause turmoil. Um, Homeland Security actually watches the border between Mexico and the United States. Okay, so what, what does that mean with government shutdown? It's the possibility of martial law being implemented because of a crisis that could happen after so many days. Okay. Where two things that will mainly happen in any detrimental crisis. One is looting. And another one. Is rape. So. These are things that. We don't typically talk about. On a day to day basis. But. Looting. Is one of them. People will be scavenging for food. People. Are going to be. At the lowest of lows. And so idiotic to loot for TVs, Nintendos, PlayStation, Jordans, things of the such like that. Not only, but the police will no longer be able to support the community. 
because they are policy officers under the governmental ordinance. They are part of the government. So that means if you need to call out, if you need to call a fireman because there's a fire, if you need to call a policeman, well, you're, you're pretty much out of luck. For women who like to dress a little prissy, a little skin tight, beautify themselves, um, it would be wise to really, really tone it down. And even if you do, you still have to be cautious around your neighborhood and whoever you are around in general. Because there are guys and women who have been watching you, who have a desire to be with you, and who have thoughts that are demonic and want to do hurtful things to you during this time. There will be rape, there will be looting, there will be curfews if martial law takes place. Now, this is nothing to be afraid of, because the good news is that even with this new paradigm of the so-called New World Order, one of the best things about it is that when the system crashed, there is no more debt. So all the bills that you had and that you're worried about, you don't even have to worry about it anymore. You'll be debt free. Okay, so that's one of the great things about it. On the downside, if there's a government sh shutdown, you have other countries around this world who find the United States is despicable and they are enemies of the USA. With that being said, they cannot wait for the fall of America. You have countries who has ties and who actually does trading with the imports and exports and has business within their area or their country. And we exchange services with them. However, even though that market is there and that partnership is there, there are countries who absolutely despise America and cannot wait to their downfall. And that is the perfect time for us to go into World War III. Not only that, but something very important that we should understand is that during this time, We have to be prepared We have to be prepared to die if necessary. Because there's going to come to a point one day, maybe not this weekend, maybe not in a couple of months. It could be a few years from now where we will be forced to have the mark of the beast, to have the RFID chip. And a question may be asked to you. Do you believe in Yahweh? Do you believe that Yeshua died for your sins? Whether you say yes or no, they can still put a bullet in your head. If you refuse the chip, you're possibly, possibly, you, you very may well be uh, put to death if you deny. So we have to be prepared. It's going to come to a point where there's going to be lottery tickets in order to get food, to ration out food. Like, not everyone will be able to uh, uh, get the desired things certain food certain juices certain medical treatment and things of the such everything would be very very limited so again 
even though we go through this transition, we have to put our mind on a spiritual level. Because this world is just temporal, but we have to look forward to the next life, our life in heaven. All right. So there's nothing to get afraid of, but I cannot wait. Some of you may think that, man, this guy is crazy. What do you mean you can't wait to the, to the fall of America? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm happy about it. If you can't tell in my voice, I, I, I cannot wait. When it happens, I'm ready for it to happen. Just come on with it. You know what I mean? Just come on with it. But we're going to do this until, you know what I mean, till, till they shut the lights off. We're going to do this till they shut the lights off. Um, but just imagine the, the, the turmoil that is going to happen. I mean, not just the fact that food will no longer be available at your fingertips. You'll no longer be able to just go to the grocery store and get the things that you need, whether it's uh, food or prescription, water. But the mere fact that, my goodness, the, the, can you imagine the smell of the trash when the city is no longer picking up the trash anymore all the trash that is outside can you imagine for an extensive period of time that if there was such a crisis the actual smell in the cities from the hospitals because the hospitals and the morgues when they're when they're uh when their system goes down if the grid goes down and and their freezers are no longer able to freeze the body, freeze the dead bodies, and then the smell just deteriorates and and progresses in the air. Oh my goodness! I don't want to get too deep into it, but I did want to give you all this important information. We have to realize that we have been subliminally prepared and are being prepared to accept an eventual shutdown. There has been many, many situations where we have heard about data breaches with Yahoo, with Ashley Madison, with Target, Home Depot, Facebook, um, goodness, what, what what are some other ones? There are so many that, that we can name, so many data breaches that has happened across the globe. There has been so many warnings that the solar grid will, that the grid will go down. In the entire United States, in parts of two-thirds of the world, if not more, because of the solar flares. Now is the time to prepare. Now is the time to be wise and to prepare. What does it also mean for a government shutdown? For those who are dependent on income tax... Those who are waiting for IRS to give you that lump sum, you may have to, uh, that may be postponed for your spring season. Do you have enough water, enough dry goods, enough food to last you three months to maybe a year? If not, you know, it's something to look into. Even Noah had to put a little food aside for his family. If you're listening to this message, it's important for you to hear this. Because when the time comes when there's nothing available for you, you'll wish that you took the time 
to get the things that you needed. And then at that time, you cannot say to yourself, I wish that I did it because you knew the information. You had the heads up before everybody. So this is very key. This is very key that we take heed to what's being shown to us. And that we prepare ourselves for general. Even if things don't go as bad as we think it seems. Now is the time to prepare. Shut down or no shut down. Just know that the shutdown has just started. Keep the most high first. And let's do this until the lights go off.